DJ Hi, I'm Vespers, and this is the third of three tutorials on Sugarbyte's WoW filter box. Next up, we have a set of pads. But those sound, again, too static, and we want to add some modulation to them. So I'm going to drop an instance of WoW. And what I want to create this kind of building moving effect is I want a low-pass filter, and I want it to be opening. So we're going to move to a low-pass 24 decibel filter. Now I'm just going to record a pass in Ableton here, uh, recording the opening of the filter slowly throughout the phrase. Perfect. Now, I want to create a side chaining effect, that pumping, swooping effect that you hear in a lot of dance music. And with the modulation, the built in modulation features of WoW, we can do this conveniently. So, as you can see, the master volume has blue on it, so that means it can be automated. And we're going to use the LFO in this case. So, we're going to switch our LFO tempo to a quarter note, which is, you know, going to keep in timing with the beat of the track. Now we're going to right click and we're going to modulate the LFO amount so that it is corresponding to the master volume here. So we're getting that pumping effect, the filter slowly opening, it's creating that nice modulation building effect. But we're going to take it one step further as well. And we're going to use the same LFO to modulate the filter frequency. So not only is the filter being automated upwards slowly, we're going to use the LFO to create a pumping effect with the low pass filter. And lastly, we can add a little bit of overdrive to it to add some grit. <laughs> And finally, we're going to use the filter on some vocal chops. So I've got a bunch of different vocal snippets in here that I've cut and pasted and edited. And let's just have a listen to how the vocal track sounds together. Now I want to give this vocal track some really wild modulation. So what I've actually done is I have copied it three times over. So there's three separate tracks here and they're grouped together using a group track. So I can mute and, and activate the group track altogether. And I've just added, by deleting certain sections of it, I've created little snippets of the vocal chops on the different tracks. And I've put an instance of WOW on each one and I've used a different filter type and different modulation speeds on each track. So on track one I'm using a 12 decibel low pass filter, a little bit of overdrive. By right clicking you can see I've added LFO to filter frequency modulation and the LFO rate is a half note with a sine wave LFO. On the second track we have slightly different settings. This one we're using a 12 decibel high pass filter, again with some overdrive. We're using a maximum LFO modulation amount, and we're using LFO tempo of a 
dot a quarter note. And we're using a different waveform, the saw wave. And on the final vocal track, we're using a comb filter, a little bit of overdrive again. Again, we're maximum modulating the filter cutoff with the LFO, but in this case, we're using a triangle wave, and we're using a dotted half note as the LFO rate. So I'm going to solo our vocal group, and let's listen to how it sounds. <laughs> So in each of the vocal chops, you can hear the filters, the different types of filter, the different modulation tempos, and it creates a really interesting, highly modulated, highly edited effect, all using entirely SugarBytes Wow filter box. So now let's listen to everything together. And that wraps up our third tutorial on SugarBytes Wow Filter Box. What an amazing plugin. Thanks for watching. DJ Watch me. Watch me. Watch me.